So if we just zoom out a little bit more, you can see this trace paper. If I make it yellow, this layer is what it comes with by default. When you only need to show this much of the floor plan is to create a smaller layer is that so when you're drawing, your line weights are going to be pretty crisp and clear. Marine has this PDF of the house. Presumably this is from the architect, builder, or the engineer. And as a landscape designer, she really needs to work on a portion of the backyard. The PDF is in the vector format. So the vector format, it just means it doesn't get pixelated the more you zoom in. So it's a vector based file. So you can see the more I zoom in on this line, this line is still very clear. It's very sharp. And we usually get this kind of drawing from softwares like AutoCAD, Revit, ArchiCAD. When it's ex exported to a PDF, it's a vector base. When she created this zoomed in layer, her own work is pretty clear, but the background is blurry and that's not what she wanted. She wanted to retain the background as clear as it is while keeping her own drawing. So if you want to retain the vector based quality, when you export it as a PDF, you can go to PDF best and only this option in the middle called the background only in this tab, it's going to retain the PDF quality and the vector based quality. If you use any of the other two tabs like the layers or the screen that is going to rasterize your PDF. So it's no longer going to be a vector based format. The downside of using this background is this will not allow you to play with the scale or paper size. It's just going to export in the same scale and the PDF size as you import it. This is not what I use or most people would be interested. They most likely will want to export to a custom paper size and a scale. But in case you do want to retain that vector based quality with your drawings, this is the only way I know how to do that. Here is a quick suggestion to maintain a fair enough of a drawing quality. So by default, when you bring in your PDF, it's going to be on the very bottom layer. It's going to come with a trace paper in the same size as the PDF. So if we just zoom out a little bit more, you can see this trace paper. If I make it yellow, this layer is what it comes with by default. When you only need to show this much of the floor plan is to create a smaller layer is that so when you're drawing, your line weights are going to be pretty crisp and clear. This extent of the drawing, the bushes right here is made on this larger trace paper. When I zoom into here, the edges are not as sharp compared to the vector based line work. What I recommend, I want to show you the difference when I create a smaller trace layer. And if I zoom in on this layer, can you see the difference between which one is sharper? right? The left one is a lot sharper than the right one. If my goal is to retain the vector based background, I'm going to export using this background option. I'm going to export this entire page because this is the only way that I'm going to be able to maintain that vector based quality. Even though the part of the drawing that I really want to see is just in this area. So you can see this new file that I just exported. This is the same extent of her original background. And when you zoom in, what you'll see here is all these CAD layers before they're still high quality, which means they were exported as vector base, which is what we wanted, except she didn't need this entire page. So now we're at a point where we have sharp background, the cat background, we have ideal line weight but we have a much larger drawing that we don't need to. The solution in here is to crop it in this view. You can do that in, in InDesign. You can zoom in InDesign to get it to a place where it is the crop size or the view extent that you want while maintaining this background.